Oh. What's up everybody, Anthony here, SpecialtyMotorCars.net, and I got another odd video to bring you this week. Uh, it's another video that I'm admitting my faults and my weaknesses in life. If you saw the video last week of that blue 1985 Cadillac Fleetwood Rome with 39,000 miles on it that I brought back from Florida, I brought you around a tour of my shop and I told you, and Papa Bear agrees with me, that I was going to be at the end of the road for a short period of time, temporarily from buying cars. Well, I lasted what? Three days. <laughs> Three days. Three days and I talked to him. Uh, it didn't do any good. But Papa Bear thinks I got a nice one and he thinks I did well so very well he's here he's my AA sponsor most of the time talks me off cliffs but he's patting me on the back for this one tell me what you think So here it is. This is what I broke my rule and promise for. And this is what my father is giving me praise for. So I didn't screw up. I screwed up because I broke my own rule. But I think you guys will agree that this was a good rule to break. Or this is a good example to break it on, I should say. This is a 1992 Chevy G... I think they call it a G20. Rockwood conversion. Short wheelbase. It's a shorty van. 55,555 miles, absolutely brand new in the wrapper, one owner truck. What do you think, Dad? What can I say? Another great deal by Anthony. <laughs> yeah. Thankfully, you praised me on this and told me I should buy it. It just got dropped off yesterday in the downpouring rain. So I want to show you this thing. Basically, as it came off the truck, 55,000 mile example. Beautiful cloth interior, an absolute time capsule, in and out. 55,556 miles. Really, just a super, super nice car. It's got truck, van. <laughs> it's got the, uh, you know, added running boards, the beautiful, like, aqua blue graphics, you know, period correct bug deflector. I mean, it just looks so great, especially parked next to my Cadillac that I said was going to be the last car I'd buy. So I'm going to redo my promise. I slipped up a little bit, but I'm a strong person. I can be better. I can do better. So what I'm going to do is promise now that it's September, it's September 1st, the beginning of September, I'm not going to buy any more cars for, what do you say, Dad? How many Three weeks? Three days. No, come on. <laughs> give me a little bit more credit than that. This is it. I don't have any more space. How about two weeks? Two weeks? Two weeks. Shake on it. Ah. Uh, wrong hand, but it'll work. Son. Shook. Two weeks, no more cars. Two weeks, I'm going to do my best to get as many cars out the door as I possibly can. But let's take a look at this van in depth. Let's take it on a quick road test. Tell me what you think in the comments below. I've had a few conversion vans. One was my own personal van. I've never had one like this, that square body GM. And this is an absolute time capsule of a van. But let me know what you think. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I'd like to have you along for my future videos. So let's have a quick in-depth walk around of this thing. And like I said before, tell me what you think in the comments. I think these things are so cool. It kind of brings you back to that time when these vans, I mean, everybody had these. They, you know, grandpa's bought them, uh, parents bought them. And these things were not meant to survive. They were meant to bring your family on vacation. They were meant to enjoy and, and, and go places with kids and families and dogs. And they didn't survive. This one is, like I said, a time capsule of a van because it's so original and so pristine. And a one owner, low, low mileage, and obviously garage because you can tell all by the graphics on it, the decals, the lenses. Everything is in such nice shape. I mean, look at look at the condition of the tow hitch. 
you know, it's got the original lettering on the uh, on the back here for the dealer who sold the new Paul Sherry vans. They're out of Ohio. That's where this van came from. It lived about a half hour from the dealer where it was bought new, and they still today sell vans. But it's really cool, like I said, where it's got the shorter wheelbase. Um, selling feature, not a selling feature, don't know. I really don't even know what this van is worth, to be 100% honest with you. Um, it's got the old school rally wheels with the trim rings, the centers, uh, deep, chunky Michelin tires. You know, even all the trimming along here is in nice shape. All the trim around the glass, no rust on this van anywhere. All the glass gaskets are in nice shape. I mean, just look, look at the shine on these graphics. This cool spare tire cover. It's got this cool ladder rack on it that I don't think I would stand on. Uh, but I guess if you're putting something on the roof. Now, the one thing I'm kind of, let me know down in the comments. You see that? That's like a, I don't know, it's a, it's a wire. And then you can kind of see there's two screws in that rail. It's like a roof rack. Um, I don't know what that's for. It doesn't light up. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments if you if you recognize that accessory. You know, if you were an 80s, 90s baby and you know you're a conversion van aficionado. Uh, what's cool is how these doors, I think on the regular wheelbase or the longer one, this door would be the same size as this door. But you can see it's got a shorter door here. But if you look just how mint this upholstery is, I mean, no question that whoever had this van didn't have kids because they definitely did not destroy this van. I mean, just the, the, the upholstery is so clean and so well kept. I mean, it's like this little plastic kind of guide protector thing here that I would assume with age and time would fall off. Um, all the threshold is nice and clean. The running board, no wear and tear. I mean, just crazy mint. Let's climb up in this thing and show you. It's got the bed in the back that folds down. I haven't tried to fold it down yet, but all the drapes and, and uh, wood trimmings, mint shape. And then it's got the blinds that you can close just like this. These little windows must vent open somehow. Oh yeah, little two little tabs in here. And those vent open cup holders, ashtrays. Oh, Dad, there's a button in here for an antenna. Did you see this? Maybe that's what that wiring is for. Oh, no, that's not a button. That's like a connector. I don't know. But again, it just such time capsule. I mean, the carpeting is in beautiful shape. The original dash and wood is perfect. I mean, someone went through such lengths that they put these little cup holder inserts in here because this is like cork. And you know if this got wet or, or grungy, you know, it would wear out. So someone put cup holder inserts so that the, the cup holders wouldn't deteriorate the, uh, the cork. All the original non-smoker, original stereo system, just absolutely perfect seats the steering wheel you can see here all the trim is nice and bright now this guy here if you start this up which is another cool thing it's got the original keychain from paul sherry vans but if you start it up here i was wondering what this little guy did but you get this little switch tell me how cool that is that's a tachometer so you can have it on tack or go over the clock and it goes back and forth. Apparently it does. Or maybe it just stays on clock. Or it's a very temperamental switch. I don't know. Oh, there we go. I don't know what these are for, cylinders. This is obviously for set the clock. This must be for trailer towing like a brake controller. Um, I mean, 
and all the dash pad is meant. It's got all the auxiliary, oop, auxiliary lighting, lighting, back lighting up here in the ceiling, up behind the valance here. I mean, this thing is just such a time capsule that <laughs> I, I'm blown away on how nice this van is. I wasn't expecting how nice this van, I wasn't expecting this van to be that. I knew it was nice, but I didn't think it was this. Thing. Come around to the back here. What do you think, Papa Bear? Do you like this thing or what? Nice, nice van. It's a really super nice. sweet van. I mean, this well is a great, taken care of. great. You don't have to sell it on video, Dad. They know. Just, it's so sweet. Papa Bear's trying to sell you the van before it's even for sale. I'm not trying to sell anything. Why not keep it? We should keep it, right? This would be a good company vehicle. Yeah, take a nap in. Take a nap in. I mean, it's got all the original service books. Uh, conversion van information, trailer hitch, wiring diagrams. And just look at the carpeting back here. This is, I mean, I haven't cleaned this. You can see I haven't cleaned it. I mean, it's dirty, it's dusty, uh, you know, but the carpeting is just so mint. Yeah, books. The original Chevy van brochure. A member of the custom conversion van cult. What's the book on here? 1992. G van models, electrical and wiring diagnosis. All types of parts that came with it. Uh, what do we got here? Fram air filter used, removed at 54,000 miles. He kept the used air filters. That's weird. And then labeled when he took them out. Coolant. This must be used coolant. Yeah. Good. Not diluted. Used in Ranger. 42211. These are thankfully new spark plugs. Auto light. Lock and gas cap. Bumper brackets removed for installation of hitch. Oh, so that must be a pretty new hitch. Oh, Dad. Did you see this? What? Look, it's got a backup camera. What the hell is the backup camera in this thing? I didn't see any backup camera in this. Actually, oh, you know what? Ha! Look at this! Here I am! I can see you! It's got this weird little... TV thing. I mean, that's even look. That is. That's what this little TV screen is for. We didn't know what this was for. And it's got a backup camera, although it's on all the time. Actually. Ah. That's cool. Wow, this is neat. Close those doors up. Let's go for a ride. 55,000 miles on this one owner van. I mean, just super, super sweet. I mean, all the chrome, even up here, there's no wear and tear. The gaskets are all in mint shape. It's got those old school vent windows that I think somehow open. I remember you had these in your old Chevy truck, Dad. Push the button. Ah, that's what it is. Oh, man. I love it. This thing can drive. This thing is badass. All lit up in the back. Let's take it for a spin. Tell me what you guys think down below. Like this is, I'm so excited to have this car or van. I keep saying car, because obviously I'm so used to selling cars, but I'm so excited to have this van because this thing is like a time capsule. Oops. It really is a super, super sweet example. Um, I don't know what, what, I mean, this thing is just so cool. I'd love to take a road trip in it. Maybe we will. Maybe we should. Sounds good to me. Gotta go through and take a look at it, service it, but 
Uh, I'm hoping that I can ask for your approval and forgiveness on acquiring another vehicle. Even though I said and I promised I wasn't going to because I had time constraints and I wasn't getting cars done, I was getting backed up. But sometimes when vehicles like this come up, this is like a once in a lifetime, in my opinion. It's such a unique package. Uh, and it's so well kept and so well preserved that to, to duplicate this, this isn't like a broom that you can kind of try to find another one. Uh, this is like super, super unique opportunity. So let me know what you think down in the uh, comments below. Hit that like button if you like my choice of rule breaking cars. Uh, and uh, let me know what you think. I, I'd really like to hear what you have to say about this conversion, man. It's a 1992 Chevy G20 Rockwood conversion, one owner van, uh, just came out of the original owner's estate out of Ohio. No rust, and I mean, just babied, garaged, super, super well kept, and uh, a real survivor for this era because, like I said before, these things, they were meant to be driven meant to be used and meant to be abused and uh you know making memories doing it uh, but this one survived there's that tachometer in action that is so cool this is the last caddy I said I was gonna buy. That mirror is out of adjustment again. I almost clipped your Cadillac, Dad. Oh, did you? I almost did. But I had to buy another one. Appreciate everybody for tuning in. Heading home, taking the Chevy van home to show my wife. Ugh! We'll see how she approves of this new acquisition. I doubt she's going to be a big fan and uh, probably say, hey, we should keep this, honey. I think it'd be a great car for me. But anyways, we'll talk to you on the next one. I do have some nice cars coming up. I got two ready to go Cadillac and a Lincoln Town car. Won't give you any other hints. But you'll see him in the next couple days, this weekend, maybe Monday, Tuesday. I know it's a holiday weekend. We'll talk to you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.